One of the key features of academic writing is using transitions to tie ideas, paragraphs, and sections together. We carefully lead our reader from one idea to the next using transition strategies. Hi, I'm Cheryl Holt and I teach academic writing and presentations to international students at the University of Minnesota. I'm sure you're very familiar with the transitions between sentences in a paragraph and have studied these words and phrases very extensively. In almost every paragraph, there are some words and phrases that carefully lead the reader from one idea to the next, as in this example. I'm sure you're familiar with these short transition words and phrases, despite the fact that, for example, in addition, another benefit, also, finally, and consequently. But these aren't the only ways to hold ideas together. Especially in academic writing, it's important to learn and incorporate other transition strategies. One of the key ways to link ideas together is to use this plus a summary word. Let's look at a few examples. Here the writer makes a statement. The country recycled less than 40% of its plastic waste in 1996 compared to just over 75% in 2012. The next sentence links to the previous sentence by summarizing the key point, this increase. It's not appropriate to just say this, this what. We provide a summary word to help the reader easily understand the connection, this increase. Let's look at a similar example. Again, the writer makes a statement and uses a summary word, these measures, to link the ideas together. This increase has likely come about partly as a result of key government measures. According to the Library of Con Congress, these measures, what measures? The government measures in the previous sentence. The writer has linked these ideas together using these plus a summary word. Another strategy is repetition of key words. In this part of the paragraph, the writer refers to several laws and repeats the new laws in the next sentence and later in the following sentence. This repetition again links the ideas together and helps the reader read quickly. Although you may have been taught not to repeat words, using the same word again and again, it provides coherence or unity in a paragraph, and even in a section, and helps the reader understand the connections. If you later would use the word this legislation instead of laws, it would make it more difficult for academic readers to see the connection. Another way to hold ideas together is by using a summary phrase like despite these efforts. Here, it's a way to introduce new information by reminding the reader of the old information, the efforts discussed above. There's one type of transition, however, that I don't recommend for formal academic writing, particularly at the graduate level. When you're giving a presentation or in informal writing, it's somewhat common to ask these rhetorical questions such as, what does conflict mean? Or, how do we know this is true? Or even, what should be done about this problem? In academic writing, however, it's better to use statements instead of questions. Here are some phrases that are good transitions in academic writing. It's unclear what the definition of conflict is. Or, several definitions of conflict have been used in previous studies. Or, it's questionable whether something is true, or even a key question is whether we can manage conflict. However, if you're in social science or business or writing more informally, you may use these question transitions more often. You can find more information in the textbook and by going to this link for a phrase bank. Be careful, this is a British based phrase bank, so there are some British based words. Uh, if you're publishing in the U.S., be careful of the words. Also, as you're reading in the journals of your field, 
pay particular attention to how transitions and transitional devices are used.